as we all know, Joe and Stevie have been together since they were at school. In fact, not only is today their wedding day, but today also marks the 10th year of them being together as a couple. All those years ago, when Stevie asked Joe out on a date <laughs> to the Rock Cafe for milkshakes, little did they know they were actually starting the journey of the rest of their lives together. Woke up this morning with the sunrise in my eyes. Stevie's brought so many smiles to everybody she's met. I've never heard a bad word to say about Stevie. I'm so proud to have her as a daughter. Um, I've got a photo album with hundreds of photos, and you'll be hard pushed not to find a photo where Stevie isn't smiling or happy. She's just an absolute delight. And now, Joe. <laughs> What can I say about Joe? <laughs> You've been a wonderful son. You've matured into the person that you are. And uh, uh, you've been absolutely fantastic and you'd never give us any problem whatsoever, unlike the guy sitting beside you. <laughs> Finishing school, to Stevie moving away for uni, and to Joe working away, and everything in between, these two have remained together and in love. I remember talking to Joe a couple of years ago about if and actually when he was going to propose to Stevie. And in true Joe form, he didn't give much away, but what he did say was that he was going to wait for the perfect time in the perfect place. And he did so one night when they were out a walk together. Joe got down on one knee and proposed right up in that hill. I there. played the dice right and let the good times roll. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you about one story. We went, uh, one of the many times we went to Arlington Beach for a wee session. Um, see. To say I had one too many drinks <laughs> uh, on on the bus home for no no idea why, but I uh, decided to go off to the courthouse, which is like say about three miles away from my house. <laughs> I was I was quite far gone, so uh, Joe was like, "No, no, don't just stay in the bus, stay in the bus." Now, no, no, I'll walk home. Don't worry about so myself, whatever. But uh, ended up getting off the bus. Joe went home. And I was probably wondering about the middle of nowhere. But he didn't he didn't just go to his bed or whatever he thought about it, sort of like, oh no, Fergie's he's gone away, don't know where he is, so he might have convinced Alice to get out of his bed about half half one in the morning or whatever. <laughs> Drove out, found me walking down the middle of the road, had my iPod up to my oh, 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 down there. Later he's like, get get in the car and then, and then uh, yeah, took me home and uh, I think that's kind of that's kind of guy Joe is. He thinks he thinks about others. No, he didn't. He was the only person in the bus thought like he doesn't make no get home all right. He thinks about me. Yeah, that's that's one of the reasons I love Joe. So, yeah. uh, Joe and Stevie were off to Australia, and to my shock, and it might shock some of you here. Stevie entered a jelly wrestling competition. <laughs> jelly wrestling competition in a bar one night. And she won. <laughs> so proud of her. So proud. He was quite a whingy kid in general when we were younger. But one summer in Barra, he was much whingier than usual. He was complaining of stomach pains and could barely move because of it. Naturally, our mum was very concerned and took him to the doctors. You can imagine our relief when I actually turned out to be a, a very severe case of constipation. 
and our cri <laughs> crippled, sickly little boy who she brought into the doctor's surgery gleefully skipped out with <laughs> without a care in the world after receiving his first ever enema. <laughs> or caring to spend the rest of my life with. I've fallen in love with a beautiful woman and my best friend. I consider myself the luckiest man alive. Over the last six months, you have been building roofs, laying turf, fighting insurance reps, and have been seen more in work clothes than evening wear. Now, I just want to say in front of your friends and family how much you mean to me. You look absolutely beautiful. You have made me the happiest man alive. Your priority list in life is about as selfless as it gets. Family and friends first, then your job, then yourself. And anyone who can call her family or friend is truly fortunate. She is a rock and I admire her as much as I love her. I, Joe, accept you, Stevie and Madge. I, Stevie, accept you, Stevie and Madge. Following the binding declarations that you have made before me and in the presence of your witnesses, it is my privilege to pronounce you Joe and Stevie, husband and wife. And you kiss your And I'm sure all of us here for see Stronsel Cottage filled with more chickens, dogs, <laughs> kids and lots of laughter. Yep, how you going Joe and Stevie? Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Happy wedding! I uh, hope you have a good one from Australia, but not really because I'm here. And uh, that'll, that'll do that! Thanks, <laughs> awesome. Cheers, <Awesome>. man! <laughs> This is bad. I want to see it. Just call me fucking Here they go. Come and get it, girls. <laughs> oh, fair. This is just what I like, my man. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you really are the most beautiful brain you ever seen. Wow. 
Ich <laughs> 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 <laughs>